You're going to love it here. Greatest city in the world. You're the next chapter in its long history of greatness. So wonderful to welcome the bronze to the Lakers family. We're definitely going to the tournament this year. <laughs> we better. Go back to Cleveland, we don't want you here! Knights of House Lakers, tonight we commence what is sure to be a glorious season, the beginning of the end of the long drought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the King of the East, now dons the purple and gold, and together we will restore the glory of the greatest house in the Western realm. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Yeah. Now please, eat, especially you, Ingram. No, Brandon, you go past LeBron first now. Oh, sorry. You must have burned your tongue, your grace. So, I hear you're to be involved in the production of Sea Jam 2, is that correct? Uh, yes, that's right. Oh, delightful. Well, I was thinking if you're looking to, say, reprise Sean Bradley's character, I'm a very accomplished actor. Uh, uh, actor. <laughs> oh, what was that? You'll never be clutch like Kobe! Who are these clowns? Uh, Kobe-dicians. kobe an annoying sect of extremist Kobe fanlings. This is done by Lakers fanlings. They're not Laker fans. They're Kobe fans. They don't accept LeBron. They think he's a soft bitch who can't play defense. What's your tongue, Brandon? What? Well, that's what they say. LeBron's a soft bitch and he doesn't play defense. Yeah. See? Kobe. All right, let me talk to them. Don't bother LeBron. You can't reason with them. Just ignore them. If I could win back the fanlings of Cleveland, I can certainly win the hearts of a few crazy Kobe fanlings. You can't make your free throws. <clears throat> Good people of Los Angeles. Oh shit, it's LeBron. Boo. You're a stunt padder. Yeah. Give him a chance, give him a chance. Like you, I have much respect for Kobe. Because he's the GOAT. Yeah, he's right. the GOAT. He's the goal. You'll never be Kobe, bruv. I'm not trying to be. Well, you should. Yeah, he's better than you. Yeah. Okay. Well, is there anything I could possibly do to win you over? Hold on, yeah, yeah. Hold on. there's Kobe's nothing. I mean, I mean if he gave us a billion no, gold, no. No. Kobe tattooed on his head. Or Definitely not. No. Maybe a hundred championships. Six. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Go with that. Go with that. Yes. Okay. You got to win uh, six championships. Yeah, yeah. Six. 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 Yeah. No, seven. Oh, seven. Six. 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 What? No, no. You realize Kobe only won five. Yeah, but he's a closer, bitch. Finishes. I. I finish? According to the analytics masters, I'm actually more clutch than Kobe. Nah, Kobe's a killer. Like a mumba. Well, I built a school. Wow. Oh, you built a school. Yeah, that's because you're soft. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Come on, you have nothing to prove to these fools. They're just a few nuts living in their parents' barns. They'll come around, believe me. Real Kobe fans will never accept the bronze. Yeah. He doesn't have the Mamba mentality. Yeah. Kobe never missed a game winner. Yeah. I have dedicated my life to the worship of Kobe, and I would rather die than worship the fourth goat, LeBron. Dominate, 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 dominate. Any update on the Jimmy situation? <clears throat> Handled, my leash. 
He is in good spirits and should be returning to practice today. Oh, so he no longer wants to be traded. Um, well, uh, I will work, you know. Who wants to die today? Oh, that must be him now. <laughs> Can't do something. Don't worry. He can't do shit against me. I hope that means you worked on your defense. I'll take those two G round peasants, the muffin makers boy, and that there mangy goat. When they mop whatever's left of you lily livered cowards off the court, they'll wish they traded me sooner. He doesn't seem very happy. Oh, that's just Jimmy. Gotta love the intensity he brings, even to practice. Hallelujah, Wiggins. Should I send your bones to your brother? Yes, please, You need me! <laughs> Jimmy, I just don't have the stomach for this. It's the best practice all year. Yeah, the muffin boy, I'm up He's motivating them. We yield, we yield so, so please. Oh, seems I found the town squire. <laughs> He's slaughtering my little timber pumps. Oh, this was supposed to be all year. Hey, you, give me a Salad, balsamic dressing. Actually, no dressing, I'll use it. You just got served the uh, As we said at House Pools, if you're not mortally wounded, you can still play 48 minutes. Oh my goodness, is that Andrew's heart? No, that's too big. Pardon me, have you seen my heart? Not now, Andrew! Oh. Thomas, it might be time to admit this situation is untenable. What? Oh, it's tenable. It's very tenable. It's one of the most tenable situations I've ever ten tended over. Cast these forsaken twin cities. Break me! Remember last season we were a three seed before he got hurt. Curse this wretched house! Break me! I swear this will, will, will work out just fine if, if we're just patient. And you, Lord Tippido, your rotations are shit! Well, I do suppose I like Robert Covington's hustle. Oh, how exciting is this, Lord Commander? Jimmy can take us over the top! He could change everything with his intensity! Oh, here he comes now! Is that a mini carriage? He sure does have a lot of baggage. Um, I'd like to be traded, please. Hello, city of brotherly love! Shall we complete this process now? Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm King James, blessed by the gods to choose my army, my Lord Commander, and my home. But alas, I am not. I am Sir Marshawn Brooks, a journeyman sellsword who, not long ago, was fighting in the distant lands of Chinos, spending years reassembling what remained of my shattered spirit, only to land a seat on the dreary benches of Memphis. But fate is a curious thing. For yesterday, House Sons requested my services and offered real assets in return. Sir Trevor Ariza and Pix. Seems I shall finally prove to everyone that I am a knight worthy of minutes. And what I once feared was my twilight, was in fact my dawn. Welcome to House Sons. Thank you, Sir Marshawn Brooks, at your service. Wait, Marshawn Brooks? Yes, at your service. Okay, we traded for Dylan Brooks. You were, uh, oh, um. <sighs> Damn it, they sent the wrong Brooks. House Grizzly sent the wrong Brooks. Are you bloody serious? Oh, how the fickle tides of fate recede as quickly as they crash upon my shores. And though my sand castles may wither and wash, the deft hands of hope must always be there to rebuild them. I return to Memphis with fresh perspective. Dearest Jennifer, I've received your raven and I beseech you understand. I am trying. I trieth every day to bring you the ring you so desire. Watch it. Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? Look who we blocked coming down a lane. Oh, well, look who it is. <laughs> the boogie knight himself. They say our bigs can't defend. Please, I've got a torn Achilles. Oh, okay. 
Last I saw this lot, you all were getting swept away faster than a harassment case at House Mavericks. Oh, please, Boogie. Regale us with the tales of your extensive tournament experience. <laughs> <laughs> Better none than yours. <laughs> Don't let him get in your head. Oh, good on you all for giving Jimmer another shot. <laughs> what? No, I'm... N Wait. I'm not going to fall for your hurtful tricks anymore. You see, it seems the tables have turned. Unlike you, I have two good Achilles and friends. Yes. How do you like my sauce now, yes. bitch? <laughs> what a fellowship you all have. Almost makes up for the lack of rings. The Lord of Light, hearted locker room chemistry, smiles upon our brotherhood. Who smiles upon you, Boogie? You've got no rings and no friends. And which of those can you offer me? Friends. I prefer rings. Well then join us, and together, we shall make it past the second round. Whoa, whoa, I don't want this guy here. He's like, uh, mess with our flow, you know what I mean? We have like, uh, good vibes, and also like, um, we have same agent, and he says it might affect my minutes. Doesn't matter. It's water under the Bay Bridge. I'm signing with House Warriors. What? Oh, what? Wait, no, you can Like an all-star house. It's not fair. I'll ruin the realm. He's full of it. Everybody knows House Warriors is over the gold cap. They can't afford you. No, it's probably mid-level exception. Yeah, it's, it's a mid-level. Mid oh, right, the right, base, the mid-level so. exception. I, of course, know what that is and fully understand it. My mind is uh, buzzing for I heard a heart take. <laughs> Seems big <laughs> boogie cousins turned into a snake. <laughs> he rides to the Oaklands with his rings all around. Give his headband a rebrand as a ring chaser's crown. Oh, oh, yeah. I love four bar Fridays. Boogie. Damn. The only thing more hopeless than this brotherhood is your bard career. Hey, Watch your tongue, Boogie! You know, I expect it to be a bastard, but a coward too. <laughs> I'd rather die than share the court with Curry. Um... No, no, sorry, I mean the good... I mean Steph. And the rest of those serpents. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. We've got no chance. We had no chance. But we do now. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Light-Hearted Chemistry is very powerful. Right. To the humble, he giveth. But to the greedy, he taketh away. Right. The warrior's defeat can only come from within. No house can bear the likes of Draymond, KD, and Cousins. No Their golden cup runneth over with ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let him go. Wait, what? Hope you enjoy the regular season, you fucking losers. I hope you get the fucking eighth seed so I can see your faces when we sweep you again. I'll crush you like I crush my Lord Commander. Does he know the way out of here? He'll get himself ejected eventually. My mind is a buzzing for I had a heart attack. Seems big boogie cousins turned into a snake. He rides to the Oaklands with his rings all around. Give his headband a rebrand as a ring chases crown. Huh. Huh. A raven has brought us some news that is good. House blazes and wired the night rod they own. My rip city brethren rejoice and give cheer. Except for Nick Stauskis, you're now a cavalier. Wait, what? Bye, Nick. Good luck in Cleveland, Nick. See, look here, Damar. Draymond's on LeBron again. Yeah, it's like a triple switch or something. Exactly. What are you reading? We're studying. House Warriors' defensive tactics against King James. It wasn't their tactics. It was their talent. We have the talent. We just need smart strategy and for the gods to finally smile on us. Maybe they have. <gasps> Damar, this is our chance. King James has gone from our path. But he has also gone from our excuses. If we fail to conquer the East this year, could be the end for all of us. My lord, you've always believed in us. We will reward your faith, I swear it. I'm afraid faith is not enough. Here we pay a northern price for a blessing. The gods demand a sacrifice. Lord Ujiri, I pledge that I will do whatever it takes. Yes, we'd give anything for the six. I know. Forgive me. God, wake up, God, God. Norman, what are you doing? It's a trade. A, We're making a, a trade. A trade? Why didn't anyone tell me? Well, you know, you did trade for a horse once, and I think Lord Ujiri doesn't agree. Ah, he's so annoying. 
Excuse me, excuse me. Get, get out of my way. <gasps> no, no, no. Kyle, don't let them do it. I won't. This must be some sort of mistake. He was here for a long time. Not a good time. What? Where's Lord Ujiri? It'll all be over soon. No, I demand to see Lord Ujiri. Where is Lord Ujiri? My lord, you, you can't. You said you wouldn't. God's plan. Uh, Drake, have you all gone mad? If we don't make a trade, there will be no banners here. Oh, is that what they said in House Thunder when they traded away James Harden? Ah, oh, man, that's not the same. Silver Lord, bless this trade. For it is fair and for the good of the realm. How could you do this to your most loyal knight? Not just him. Also, J Jacob Poldl. Poldl. Poil, poil, poil. Him. Hello. All right. Summon the trade raptor. I'll be your new best friend. Shush, Norman! Kyle! Please! Is there any other way? We tried. They didn't want you. Please, please! I'll, I'll try on defense! I'll shoot them from anywhere! I'll shoot them from behind the half court! Oh, no, 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 no! Please, please, please! Hi, Damar. Oh, hi, Jack! <clears throat> wait. Wait, wait! I almost forgot. We also owe them a uh, first round pick. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, we're good. We should be good. Trade Raptor, take these knights to that new house. Wait, Demar and a pick? And Jake Puddle. <laughs> get, get off me. No, please come back. No. <laughs> My friend. Well, whoever we're getting back. He better be a bloody monster! <laughs> so the key here again is spacing. I need you in the corner, and if your man so much as looks my way, then I'm gonna get it to you. Then I go up for three. Yes. But it's merely a pump fake. No. I pull the ball down, I step over the line, no. I back down the big for contested fadeaway two from the elbow. No, that's exactly what you shouldn't do. Chris, you know I can hit that shot over anybody all day. It's not about hitting shots, it's about hitting efficient shots. Ugh, not you two with this efficiency fad. Whatever happened to the days when knights would go one on one, mano y mano, in the paint, in a slow, grinding duel? Mello. Mm. If you want a role here on House Rockets, you must understand the system. Study the analytics. I study plenty. Mello, please. I remember when you used to be fun. Whatever happened to Banana Boat, Chris? He learned how to win, and he wants to teach his friends so they can win together. I want to win. It's just, it's all so boring these days. Analytics, efficiency, defense. Hmm. You know what? Come with me. I want to show you something. Whoa. Carmelo, welcome to the Johnson Spacing Center. Here, our maesters test the frontiers of knowledge to give house rockets a competitive edge. What's that? Why, that's our namesake, the rocket. We value long-range weaponry here. House Rockets has never shied away from experimentation. Some produce incredible results, and others, not so much. What is this for? Ah, that was Yao Ming's chamber pot. Oh. <coughs> Melo, have a look at this. What is that? Those are moons orbiting another world. Makes you think. You might not be the center of the universe after all. Huh. So you're saying I'm just another planet? No, he's saying you are a moon. James Harden is the planet. Well, actually, Chris, I am a star. 
and stars should be starters. Mello. Just needs a headband. I'm going to put a hoodie here. Mello, you're not getting You know, it, okay? I bet the only reason I'm not starting is because D'Antoni's still bitter about New York. Oh, no, no, no. He's just working off the model. The model? It's not possible. I can't just shoot 33s a game. Look right here, James. If the model is correct, you could triple your offense and pull us out of this slump. Ah, but what if I miss them? I could go over 27 myself. Ah, but James, what if you make them? Ah, what? Carmelo, what are you doing here? Carmelo's interested in the model. Really? Analytics, Mello? Okay. This is the model. We feed her data, and she gives us answers, untainted by human bias. Huh. Why does she have six arms and f- full boots? Well, she was designed by a bunch of nerds who, let's just say, haven't had too much experience with the anatomy of a female. Carmelo, you have to understand, this machine, it, it, it doesn't care about your feelings. The model only knows pure analytics. If this thing truly knows basketball, then I should have nothing to fear. Show me how it works. These are your career stats. Let's feed them in. Hope she likes empty calories. Okay. Model. Should Sir Carmelo be in the Hall of Fame? Ah, look at that. First ballot. Ah, brilliant. Now I want to know what my role here should be. May I? Oh, uh, sure. Take it away. Model. What should be my role on House Rockets? He should have dunked that here, the lane. This model is nothing but a hater. How does this bloody thing even work? Uh, don't, Carmelo. That's uh, where the computers are. Computers? What's a computer? Hello, don't. Uh, oh, well. The, the computers do all the calculations needed to run the model. Oh, do they? Well, do any of you even watch basketball? You don't have a good form. What? What's with their eyes? These poor souls witnessed the dark ages of basketball in the early aughts. The endless post plays, the long twos, Sir Jordan on the Wizards. After a second finals appearance by House Nets, they couldn't bear it any longer. They gouged out their eyes. But on a positive note, it turns out they're perfect for doing double-blinded analytics. Many became computers, the rest became referees. I don't like your true shooting. All right, well, we really should get going, though. You're beginning to taint the judgment. Oh, you feel the... get, get off me! Sir Carmelo, can you no. sign my abacus? No! Nice. I need to get out of here! This is madness! Well, if you'd settle your emotional response, you'd see it's all quite logical, really. No, no, this is all wrong. Your cold, heartless numbers know nothing of my value. Anyone with eyes can see the beauty of my game. A ten-time all-star behind PJ Tucker. Really? Marky's Chris, actually. Well, I refuse to accept it, and I'll never accept it. Why did you even bring me here? Because you're worth the risk, at the veteran minimum. Carmelo, Lord Maury has given you a chance, and it may be the only one you have left. Well, that's ridiculous. I just need the ball. I can still take any night one-on-one. Just give me the rock and all. <gasps> oh, what? Come on, he f- me in New York. Interesting. Oh, Seven Hells, Austin Rivers. I can't wait to share the court with you and the legendary Sir Dirk. Would you like to see him? Is he, uh, you know, is it like a... His uh, spirit is strong, but I am afraid there is not much time left. Okay. He's down to ten minutes of battle. Oh, my. But come, you will make him very happy. Sir Dirk, remember, you can fight for this house for as long as you like. Thank you, but I don't have much time left. Maybe only six seasons or Six? <laughs> That's fine. That's... Totally fine. Is uh, now a good time? Sir Kristaps is here to oh, see- Oh, yes, yes. Dirk, someone special wants to see you. Hello, my Euro father. You shaved your beard, Tyson. Oh, it's no, not that's Tyson, not Dirk. Dirk. It's Kristaps. Yeah. Kristaps. Oh, Kristaps? You're on House Mavericks? I am, yeah. Lord Mark, this is truly a wonderful gift. Oh, it's nothing. Almost makes up for 
In time, I took a giant pay cut. Okay. To stay with House Mavs. Okay, we don't need a re -hustle. You use the gold on Chandler Parsons. All right, was, okay. Uh, not good. Okay, well, I will let you boys alone to talk about whatever European things you guys want to talk about, like wine and bread and cheese. I get it. All right, later, dudes. Mark is actually he's a very cool guy. Your Grace, I want to learn everything you have to teach me. Let me bask in the light of your wisdom. I will tell you what is the most important. Yes, please. Loyalty. For 56 years, I have worn only House Maverick's colors, even as those colors went through a questionable rebrand. And though I showed my opponents no mercy, I made no enemies, because I betrayed no house. Tell me, why did you abandon your house, your fanlings? Well, I was on House Nyx, oh, and... Oh, uh... say no more. Okay, yikes, yikes, never mind. Chris stops. Do you then swear your loyalty to House Mavericks? Yes, I do. Well then, in the name of Dirk Nowitzki of House Mavericks, I hereby declare you the next Dirk. Okay, wait, hold on. With all due respect, you, do, you said I was the next Dirk, like, like a moon ago. Oh, that's right, okay. Chris stops. You will be the next Dirk. Until Luca comes of age. Right, but I'm already the, the go-to knight, right? I'm scoring roughly 20 points a battle. What if uh, maybe both of you are the next Dirk? We do double Dirks. Yeah, it could be double Dirks. Would it be triple Dirks? Could it be triple Dirks? Triple Dirks? Who is the other? I, th I think I also told uh, Maxi Kleber that he's the next to me. Uh, sir, our next battle starts in eight hours. We need to start your stretches. Oh, so, don't, thank you. JJ, I'll be right there. All right, boys. Time to play some basketball. Oh, what the hell, Coos? Oh, come on. Probably would have been more off target if I let you alone. Well, that arrow costs 200 gold. Who pays 200 gold for... Ah, right. Wait, weren't you cutting ties with them? Yeah, but I gotta get that arrow back. It's gonna be a collector's item. Lonzo, I'm not sure it's safe to climb in CO2 boots. If Lord Walton sees you, he'll give Rondo all your minutes. Shh, shut up. I want nothing more than to be by your side. Oh, think of the fast breaks. I yearn to toss your lobs. Oh, think of the spacing. Would you let me play power forward? Yes, anything. Even though I'm clearly a center. Oh, whatever you want. Because together we will bring back showtime. <sighs> Too bad Lord Demps would never trade me here. He just hates House Lakers. He's always been jealous of big markets. Let Rich handle Dell. But you'd have to give up your entire young core for my rights. I would trade every single one of them for just a chance to play with you. Between you and me, they're a bunch of fools and overhyped squires. Even the ball boy? <laughs> Lonzo? <laughs> Good riddance. To him and his oaf of a father. And once he's gone, we'll bring in a real Lord Commander. Like Jason Kidd Wait, stop, or Mark Jack, stop. son of a... Oh, oh, no, no. Oh. Are you Completely oh. mad. He saw us. He saw us tampering. It's all right. It's all right. I know. So what should we do with him? D don't train me. I'm really good, except for shooting free throws and three pointers, and layups. But uh, I was the number two pick. He was the number two pick. The things I do for rings. <gasps> oh, oh, ow. Oh, my oh my ankle. The rat-like frame. Oh, oh, my bones have shattered like sugar straws. <laughs> Oh, come on, guys! Shake it off! You're fine. Just a little, uh, playoff push from the greatest night in the realm. Is someone going to help us up? Well, I suppose there's always next year. Oh, yeah, 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 right. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome to the Sept of Balor, a shrine to bad front office decisions. The kind that have led all of you here to the draft lottery. Today we gather in the presence of the Lottery Guards to witness the bestowing of the first pick. I am Mark Tatum, Hand of the High Commissioner. Where's the Silver Lord? What, uh, too good for us, eh? Yes, actually. And besides, this is the sort of my thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's just take a moment to appreciate Mark Tatum. That's right. Let's give a little love to the guy behind the guy. Okay, all right, thanks. As per tradition, each house has chosen one delegate to represent them. I do question some of your delegate choices, but then again, questionable decisions are why many of you find yourselves here. <laughs> um, House Pelicans. Come on, you know who the fanlings want to see. That's better. Um, excuse me, House Mavs. What is this? We're, uh, triple ducks. Okay, well, you gotta pick one representative, so... Figure out who is the next Dirk in the next 10 seconds, please. All right, well, I mean, I'm the most experienced. Well, I'm clearly the face of House Mavericks. So, and, and I'm from Dirk's hometown, so yeah, I mean, it's hard. We all have really good cases. All right, you know what? I'll let you guys sort this out next season. House Lakers! Get out of there. All right. Get off me. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we are all good. Everyone knows how this works? Uh, not really. Right, well, each house will have a chance to make their final plea to the lottery guards as to why they should get the first pick. So, who would like to be the first to make a claim? Great. Oh, the goat made poop on the floor. Excuse me? No, not you. Sarver, why is there a goat here? Because it's a metaphor and it's funny. Okay, well, please send a new representative down, preferably a human. Okay, the floor is open. Oh, take a stab here. I would say to the gods that you should give House Kings the first pick, because- Actually, no, it would go to the Sixers. Oh, crap, yeah. Okay, gods, you should give House Kings the second pick. No, then it would go to House Celtics, I believe. Wait, what? Who made- I made this- oh. Okay, do some- someone else should go, I don't want to- No house has fallen harder than that of the Grizzly. Sir Gasol is gone. But Chandler Parsons and his stupid contract remain. Ooh, yeah, you don't want Could be that. worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless us, O lottery gods, with the squire Zion, so that grit and grind may rise again as a bane to all Western powers. Yeah, yeah. The great house Knicks has not had a first pick in over 30 years. Yeah, Lord Fisdale. Yeah. We finally have cast off our overrated European big men to make room for the great Zion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, gods, take that for data. Give House Nix the first pick. Oh yeah, please. If House Nix gets Zion, they'll just send them away in another terrible trade, right? Rude! <laughs> you, Sir Kristaps, are now banned from the garden! Okay, you can't just ban an opposing knight from your arena. You're banned, Mark! Does anyone else want to make a plea to the gods? Ah, Sir Devin, welcome! Screw House Sons! They rejected our alliance and stole the first pick from us last year. Yeah, they already have Luca. No, they don't. Wait. Wait. So who did you guys take? I think Trey Young. Ah, uh, what? No. We took DeAndre Ayton. Oh, oh yeah. Right, that's right. How's he been this year? He's actually pretty solid. Yeah? Uh, yeah, he's quietly had a decent squire season. Oh, that's oh, good you to, like hear. to hear that. Sir Anthony Davis, you want to make a plea for House Pelicans? Yes. Read this, and we will trade you to House Lakers. Not that pop! Don't read that pop! Ah, right. Okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> We, House Pelicans, are but a humble house, and we kindly ask you for your blessing. Zion is the hero that House Pelicans needs. A knight who can take us further than one playoff series win in seven seasons. We once had a transformative all-realm knight, but he lacked the fortitude to take the fortitude it takes to commit to a small mark. Okay, it's my fault that I, sorry I couldn't beat House Warriors with Drew Holiday in half a season of Boogie Cousins. Um, thank you, AD. House Cavs, would you like to make your case? If the gods truly care to see the Squire Zion flourish, they should give the first pick to House Cavs, where he will be surrounded by championship caliber veterans and a lord who knows how to win. <laughs> oh, please. You know, there's a reason I left. Twice. <laughs> oh yeah, because you've made House Blakers such a welcoming place for young talent. <laughs> Who's fitting out now? Hey Kevin. Yes, LeBron? I miss you. 
I <clears throat> I miss you too. All right, guys, let's maybe keep the overt tampering to a minimum. Okay, then. Who's next? House Hawks. Wait. Every house he has to go? Ugh. Yes. House Hawks. Please. Go ahead. All right. Um, dear lottery gods, our house is on the rise. If Zion joins us... Maybe a 42-year-old Vince Carter won't have to play 17 minutes of battle. <laughs> okay, who else? Minnesota? I mean, how many number one picks do you guys need to, to make the tournament? Apparently more than three. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Hey, do oh, us. No. Who else? House Wizards? I mean, who wouldn't want to play with Dwight Howard? <laughs> By the way, when does John Wall's Supermax start? Next year? Asking for a friend. Okay, who else we got? House Bulls? Oh, yeah, I'm sure Zion wants to spend his first year having nights okay, only meetings okay, about all right, LeBron, how many push ups are okay. Please show a little respect. For many of these houses, this is the highlight of their season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And why is that? Maybe instead of looking to the guards, you all should be looking at yourselves. Rubbish houses with uninspiring lord commanders, foolish masters of trade, arrogant lords. No bad! These are things a knight, no matter how great, can't overcome. I learned that the hard way. Zion may be the prince who was promised, but he will not save you. Because if you don't give a goat the support he needs, then he's gonna walk out the door, and all you're gonna be left with is poop on the floor. All right, well, on that note, why don't we go ahead and see who got the first pick. And the winner of the Zion Lottery is House Pelicans. Grace, you wanted to see me? Yes. I like to pretend they're little eggs. You see, the lower houses, they're the hens. And I am the fox that snatches their little babies. And you collected so many. So much talent. Almost uh, too much. In Bostonia, there's no such thing as too much. I know one thing, Lord Pop would have never lost control of this house. Spurs of the East. Lucky for you, there's one last road trip before the tournament starts. I suggest you find a way to get our knights on the same page. Or else. You would never. This city loves me. Like they love the King and the Four? Get it done. Unbelievable we got to share a tent with the rotation guys. We was the heroes last year. If you're feeling cramped, expand your mind. Squires these days. So entitled. Better stop calling us squires, Marcus. <laughs> you don't scare me, Terry. You think you're some wise veteran? Uh -huh. What is that? I've seen that before. That bears a soul box. When you sign with House Spurs, your soul and personality go into that box. So it's like a... Spurs culture thing. I didn't want it to come to this, but there's too much talent here in this room for us to be treading water in the fourth seat. The soul box will help us contain our emotions and our egos so that this group can reach its potential. Also makes you dull as dirt. That thing's the reason nobody heard of me in San Antonio. Oh yeah, that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it. All right, Al. I want you to close your eyes and place your hand on the box. Sir Al Horford. Do you hereby commit fully to sacrifice your soul for the good of House Celtics? Aye. So did it work or what? Whoa. It didn't flinch. All right, who's next? Anyone? I'll do it. Okay, no, Lucky. Give me that box, I'll do it. Thanks, I'll Lucky, but in that box. This, this is for knights. Marcus the Smart? I, I, I can't, I'm sorry. I, my whole game's about emotion. Jalen? Uh, I'm just worried about my brand is all. What about you, Kyrie? <laughs> Subjugate the light of my soul to your rectangular prism? <laughs> no way. Can't even commit to next year. Wow, what a leader. Okay, then why don't you do it? Well, I just don't want to 
jeopardize my mamba mentality is all. Yeah, God forbid you stop shooting 20 footers. Oh, please, you're one to talk. <laughs> oh, I'm Jason Taylor. I'm, I'm the very man. Funny. I'm going to house pelicans. <laughs> all right, guys, come, come on. on. You know what? Clearly, this was a bad idea, okay? You guys are obviously not the Spurs. <sighs> and I am clearly not Lord Pop. Oh, no, you're not. Your Brad Stevens, yeah. the best X's and O's man I've ever known. Yeah, nobody can write out of timeout plays like you. Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's no timeout long enough for me to fix all of this team's issues. <laughs> <laughs> but what if there was? Who said that? <gasps> the Time Lord. Wait, Time Lord? I thought that was just a nickname. There's a lot of things people don't know about me. Don't get enough minutes. <laughs> Tell me about it. But I'm pretty versatile. I can rebound. I can block. I can stop time. Where did you learn how to do that? Texas A&M. Oh, but you were only there for two years. Or was I? Whoa. So how does one just stop time? Just asking questions here. It's a magic potion called soda. Oh. It's banned in the realm since Jason Kidd used it against House Lakers late in a battle when he had no timeouts left. Exactly how long are we talking about here? It will last till either you've come up with a way to solve all problems. For 34 years, whichever comes first. Why 34? It's the truth. 34 is the truth's number. Oh, the guy's worse than Dwayne Wade. Actually, no. That's just how much soda I have. All right, you've got this, Lord Commander. Yeah! You're Brad Stevens. You're, You're the smartest genius. in the we realm. We know you can do this, Lord Commander. Are you all mad? Do you really think he could just come up with some magical out of time outplay that can to fix all of our chemistry issues? Yeah, you know what? I do. Because I'm Brad f***ing Stevens. Yeah! Let's go! Time Lord, ready when you are. All right. Time. Out. Oh, what the <gasps> f***? What the Whoa. Oh, Commander. You look like you've aged 30, 40 years. Yep. So you... You didn't... Nope. So what's all that? Mostly just gibberish. Gave up 20 years ago, actually. What's that? All right. I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news first. Lucky got frozen in time with me. The soda spilled on him. Oh no. What have I. Unfortunately for Lucky, he swore a blood oath to always perform during timeouts. Obviously, never thinking he'd will. Yeah. But he kept performing. He was juggling, dancing, doing those wacky dunks. Man, was he funny. <laughs> By year two, he was mostly performing stuff that could be done from a chair, like balancing bowls, singing, whatever. It was around year three where he stopped talking. He was just miming and deliriously flailing his arms. By year four, I thought he was doing this long bit where he would just play dead. By year five, I realized it wasn't a bit. So, um, what's the good news? Well, I came up with a few pretty clever inbound plays that might get us to the second round. Together, we will rule the world from edge to edge. Thank you, Kyrie. I'll be in touch. What's he doing here? Oh, he was just asking questions. What are you doing here? Thought it was quite generous we let you hang around for six battles. Now you're just being greedy with my time. Clearly, my defense has yet to earn your respect. I respect... Your effort. And I heard you said nice things about me after the battle. You're a worthy opponent. If you liked me as your opponent, you'd love me as your teammate. Free agent talk will wait until after the tournament. Oh, come on. Have a little fun. Gods know you're not having any here. If you want some scrub, go to an eliminated house. If you want a king, earn him. Pure gold. It's funny I thought your throne would be made of salt. 
You're insolent. I've dropped 40 on men for less. They were lesser men. Oh, please, didn't I just drop 50 on you? We are done here. Well then, I guess good luck in New York. Who says I'm going to New York? Oh, everybody. The garden is the biggest stage in the realm. I would be the goat if I turned that house around. And if you fail on this biggest stage in the realm... Can't win with those cats. Listen to your burner. You can't win with those cats. What you need is a dog. A hungry, loyal hound. You're proud to be a dog, eh? <laughs> That's a new one. Men love dogs. What they loathe are snakes. If you're trying to lure me to house clippers, you're doing an awful job. You know, now that I think about it, house clippers would be a terrible fit. I mean, we all know you only take the hardest road, and house clippers would be smooth sailing, really. Got Lord West, builder of empires, two max slots, the best Lord Commander in the realm, and a bunch of hungry, loyal dogs just looking for their alpha. It's almost too easy. And besides, if you came to Los Angeles, it would be so unfair to King James, upstaged night after night in his own city by the man who was always second best. No, for free agent, you're very loyal to house clippers. Loyalty is what dogs do best. Hey, uh, KD, it's uh, my turn to sit on the throne. I should be going. You've been very generous with your time. We should talk. Maybe if you didn't miss all those stories, we were jinxed by the truth. Bloody monster. Who could have expected Fred Van Men, we gather today to celebrate. For if the whispers are true, Sir Yannis will be anointed the most valuable knight. Thank you, but how can I be deemed the most valuable when I couldn't even get us to the finals? King James used to crush house raptors without breaking a sweat. They were a different house then. They didn't have that monster. We should be proud. We won 60 battles this year. Yes, but it is all for nothing. Our tournament is over. The off season has come. And if the maesters are right, Durant will be heading east, which means it's going to be hard for us to even make conference finals again. We should ride home. We should test the market. Maybe sign with House Pelicans again. Or House Fools. <laughs> I hear House Lakers needs talent. As a former knight of House Sons, I know misery, and this is not it. Sure, we're defeated, but we are not without hope, for we have the honor of fighting alongside true greatness. Not just of skill, but of character. The King of the North may rule the East for now, but I recognize only one true king, and his name is long and full of letters. Giannis Atetokounmpo is my king from this day until his last day. Yeah. And you know what? I do want to be here. Yeah. Last year I fought side by side with King James. I didn't think we'd find another goat in the East, not in my career. But I was wrong. Yeah. Giannis is not only the most valuable knight in the realm, he is the king in the east! Oh, yeah, something Kawhi lives, of course. I remember the days when Brandon Knight was our best knight. Or maybe it was Ramon Sessions. As Giannis has grown, so has the dignity and respect of this house. We have not known hope like this since the days of Sir Alcinda and the Big O. And it's all thanks to Giannis. The king in the east! Oh, how quickly they forget. Nine years I ruled the East. From 3-1 down, I slayed the warriors. 
from the brink of baldness I have restored my hairline, and from the ashes of a lost season I will return, rested, reborn, regroined, to reclaim my throne as the true king of the sea. It's cut, cut. JaVale, you dunked on the wrong basket. Mello, what are you doing in front of me? Why aren't you in a banana canoe? Because I'm a star, LeBron. And stars should be in leading roles. All right, well, hold on. Matt Barnacle, stop strangling Derek with the fishing wire. Ah, well, it says here in the script that I swam 95 miles to kick his ass, so I figured I'd, figured I'd do it. Completely on You'll never be Kobe, LeBron. Yeah, you ain't never going to win your Oscar. Yeah! Wait, can someone get those guys out of here? Also, where did Magic go? He was supposed to be here. Um, excuse me, can I play Kevin of Durant in the Monster Office? No, Brandon, just, you're, you're in the wave. Ugh, I think we need to do a rewrite. It's just not working. I stand by it. I'd, I'd take Mike Muscala over Brook Lopez a hundred times out of a hundred. <sighs> you know, Larry, I'm really glad I quit House Lakers. Now I can just watch battles and send ravens, hang out with you, my best rival friend, and none of it's tampering. Uh, I just wish there was a way to know when a new Game of Zones came out. Subscribe! Subscribe! Come on, Larry, use your person voice. Uh, what I was saying, you idiot. Stop, stop. Is no that... trash talk, Larry Bird. We're past that. Uh, if you just hit the subscribe button, they will notify you when a new Game of Zones comes out.